we had a great time staying at the Geneva State Park Marina and enjoyed this lovely sunset. But it's time to move on and we are actually up at the crack of dawn and moving out heading to Cleveland where we think we're going to spend just two days. I'll, I'll just walk out here and look. I'm over on the porch side. <laughs> They're noisy this morning. So I am here at the helm while Sam is downstairs. He went to switch the tanks over and the boat's on autopilot right now. Uh, you can see his legs there as he <laughs> switches the tanks over. We like having that camera in the engine room and it flips over to the camera on the dinghy um, so we can make sure that both of those are working as they should while we were, are underway. <laughs> and he's back. It is a beautiful morning again on Lake Erie, thank goodness. <laughs> we have departed the State Marina at Geneva on the lake. Beautiful little marina there. And we walked over to the lodge and had a wonderful dinner. In fact, we have lunch left, there was so much. Today we're heading to Cleveland, the Oasis Marina, where we're going to park and enjoy the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So we'll be there for at least one day, maybe two. It's about 45 miles. Engines are warming up, and so we'll give them an hour to warm up and settle in, and then we'll stick her up on plane and get there by 10 o'clock. Look how flat and calm the Erie, Lake Erie is today. We could not have asked for better traveling conditions since, well, Buff when we left Buffalo, that was a bit rough to start, but then it all evened out, and we've had some really nice traveling days on going on the Erie. Yeah, we're moving early this morning because later on in the day, there are some thunderstorms forecast, so we definitely want to be tied down at, at a dock when that stuff happens. That is the Perry Nuclear Plant commissioned in 1986 and I'm told due for decommissioning in 2026. Well, it has been a very flat ride here on Lake Erie. As you pan around there, Rev, see it looks like a pond out here. There's absolutely no waves or anything. And you can see up ahead the city of Cleveland where we will be for one night, maybe two nights, as we try to figure out availability ahead and what the weather's doing. One of the things about the loop is, now I'm historically a planner, which I like to have everything laid out, but it has taught me that you really can't plan too far ahead. You can have some ideas, but um, things are going to be thrown at you along the way. So uh, be flexible and know some options up ahead. And we have a couple options, so we'll be weighing those as we stay in downtown Cleveland and we should be right up against the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame which we're looking forward to seeing. Uh, thunderstorms maybe this afternoon so we'll see how that affects us and taking a look at the weather for the next couple days as we uh, determine where we will go. So that is life on the loop. It's a continual replanning but 
we are looking forward to Cleveland and spots like we were just at. So enjoy the spots that you're at and then plan ahead and replant. We feel so fortunate to be on Lake Erie today just because the water is unbelievably calm. Now I think Sam mentioned that this afternoon we're, uh, there's going to be some rain coming in, but we're just enjoying this last hour before we get to our marina here going into Cleveland. But it's just really peaceful and a nice day to be out here. And there it is in the distance, the city of Cleveland, Ohio. It is the biggest city on Lake Erie. And it is also the largest city in Ohio, from Kinda what looks I'm told. looks hazy over there, yeah, too. It looks hazy, but uh, we'll be there soon. We're on this inside channel going into Cleveland. Activity going on. Looks like a building operation or dredging operation. Something's going on over there. That is the Bayfront Airport there on our port side. And that is the Katie or the Kathy Lynn tug <laughs> out there. And so we've kind of slowed it, slowed her down so we're not gonna wake the workers out there. Tow? Yeah. Tug? What's the difference? All right. I guess they prefer tow. So uh, even though it looks like a tugboat, I guess they prefer <laughs> to be called a tow. And they are I don't know. It's some it's probably airport property out there, so I'm sure they're doing something. To whatever it is they're doing at the uh, edge of the airport, and then we'll be heading up here to the end of the airport and making a turn to the port and going into Oasis Marina. There you see the skyline, and it's just starting to sprinkle a little bit, so. No. Yes, our first mate is going to <laughs> be donning some rain gear. Hopefully we won't have much more than a little bit of a shower. We'll be tied down and then explore Cleveland. Just a day in the life of uh, <laughs> Lubers. We're coming here and for some reason they built a pedestrian bridge. Uh, security, security, security. So Cassie Lynn is going to be in Bob Cuyahoga. In the most inconvenient place. Um, we're looking at the sites here. Yeah, we did coordinate with the uh, dock master who said the bridge was open. And uh, for whatever reason, we got in here and the bridge was closed. So workers are out there, so it'll take about five or ten minutes to open the bridge. So we're just kind of idling here, <laughs> staying in deep water. We're next to a freighter. Which I, I don't know what that freighter is. Uh, somebody told me that you could tour the freighter. It's called the Cleveland Cliffs. I guess we'll know once we get in here, when we ever get in. And, uh, yeah, so uh, here we are. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> Every day. Builds character. <laughs> is that what it does? Yeah. Okay then. Yeah, so uh, five minutes is uh, now ten minutes, but hey, who's counting? Uh, we are watching the sights, seeing the little mama duck there with seven little babies. At least we have some entertainment. While we wait for about 11 guys over there on the bridge to one of them flip the button, make it open. Doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> uh, I think they got to move some equipment, and I don't know what they're doing there. But I'm having a good time just maintaining position here. Are you but, having a good time doing yeah, that? Luckily, the uh, wind is not blowing or anything. We're just kind of drifting here. That is a good thing. And we're questioning our wisdom of staying here. Yeah. But. They told us, oh, there it is, the bridge <gasps> is opening. It's opening! Yeah. Okay, better get down to the bow. Get the line ready. 
One of the first things we did when we got to Cleveland was request a vessel safety check. We had not had one this year, so it was time to do that. And they sent out Captain David, who is a member of the Power Squadron and also the Coast Guard Auxiliary. He gave the here's to us, the once over, and we got an A and we got a sticker. And we also had a good time chatting about boating. I was really surprised at the architecture and the state of downtown Cleveland. I was just blown away because my impression of it as an airline pilot, when I came in, it was all, always a layover by Hopkins. And just kind of, that was all I saw. And people referred to Cleveland as the mistake by the lake, but nothing like it. However, it's the birthplace of rock and roll. And our marina was right behind this rock and roll hall of fame i know some of you have that on your bucket list and if it is you have got to get here to see it i would think i mean just we went there at 10 o'clock and when it <laughs> opened uh we took a short break went out for lunch and then we came back in and we stayed almost right up till closing time we did i mean have, it's really yeah. an emotional journey we aren't going to show you everything here so you'll come and see it but i like the early influencers because that's my cousin wanted Jackson. She's an Oklahoma girl and my grandma used to go see her um, on occasion. And of course Elvis. Yeah, you know, Elvis. Really, uh, the king of rock. Oh, there's your favorite. Oh, and uh, Johnny, Johnny Cash. Cash. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the building though in itself is just a sight to behold. Talk about some awesome architecture. I love that part on the floor that says welcome to the house that rock built very cool yeah this is a shot from the third floor on or fourth floor on the rock and roll hall of fame yeah but really a beautiful downtown marina you can see the brown stadium in the back there in the foreground you see the pedestrian bridge that they're still working on still has some buttoning up to do and some painting as you pan there there's the science center and then You'll see the Here's to Us right next to the <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Seriously, you need to come here at, to this marina. They have been so kind to us, and uh, we really enjoyed our stay there. So all in all, we spent a little over three weeks here. And the reason was is because we had to make an unscheduled trip back to Texas for some surgery on Sam's nose. <laughs> and uh, had to do with having a basal cell carcinoma that was spotted. And the surgeon did a wonderful job getting that out of there. And now we are back on the loop. Cleveland will always be a special place for us.